back to Hub World. My name is Nick Calandra, and on today's episode, we'll be speaking with Kevin Suckert about his upcoming game, Last Man Standing. As you can see on the screen, it's a rather unusual game, but it caught our attention and the attention of thousands on social media. So Kevin, I have to know, do you work in an office environment and did something happen? <laughs> and therefore, they gave you the idea for the concept of this game? Um, yeah, actually, some of my co-workers asked if this is related to yeah something that's happening in my brain <laughs> <laughs> but i can ensure everything is fine <laughs> so i have a rather nicer office than the office in the in the game mm -hmm. and i also don't have to wear a suit every day and we don't shoot so it's not inspired by work Ah, so so where did the idea for the game come from then? You just, just thought about it? Did you fall out of your chair or something? Thought it'd be funny if I, you know, had a shotgun and it blew me out of my chair instead. <laughs> yeah, so I, the really first idea was, um, so I was working on a GTA clone. It was yeah, pretty much boring, you know, just running around, shooting, getting into cars. And at some point a bug occurred where, where you shoot and then you got... Um, yeah, push back all the time while you shoot. And then I increased the pushback value a bit and realized it's pretty fun to walk around or go around and it is even more fun than, than walking. But it looked quite stupid because it, yeah, he it was more like moonwalking all the time. So I just placed him on a chair and then I thought, hmm, it doesn't make sense that everything is now on a, on a street. And I put in this office environment and yeah then this weird gif was born that was like i don't know watched hundred thousand times on reddit or something and yeah that was the basic idea so it was not really intended to be a game in in the beginning but the response was so good and huge that yeah that i had to make a game out of it now yeah, that's kind of what I thought when I first saw it on social media. I was like, eh, this doesn't look like a game. And then you're like, it is a game now. I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unexpected. So, yeah, definitely. So uh, let's let's take a step back real quick then. What's your background in gaming and game development? What, what got you interested in gaming, I guess, to start off with? Yeah, so uh, actually eight years ago, I started to, or not even, I think 10 years ago, I started um, as a new media designer. And um, then went into some yeah, celebrity web agency thing where we made their websites and stuff like this, but that was super weird. And I quit pretty soon, like after one year. And then I did, I don't know, one year, nothing. And then I started uh, an internship in a browser game company here in Hamburg, Germany. And yeah, out of this internship um, was a real job in the end. And yeah, I stayed there for eight more years. And we switched over to mobile games because browser games, it's like, yeah, almost dead. And uh, in December, I quit my job <laughs> this year, uh, last year, December. So one month ago. And yeah, I'm going somewhere else and also making, um, yeah, Last Man City. Oh, so you are working somewhere else while you're also working on this? Yeah, right. Um, that because I've, I don't really know how this game will turn out in the end and I wanted to have something safe and yeah also work together with people because the moment I'm sitting just alone uh, at home alone just yeah working on this game and having actually no social contact <laughs> which is I know the feeling. Yeah, it's quite bad. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So uh, you said the clip was first shown on Reddit, and it got a really big response. Did that how how much did that surprise you? Just that people were like, "Oh, this is really cool." Yeah, it was. I even didn't post. So um, from time to time, I post something in this uh, Unity subreddit, and there, yeah, some people um, comment on this, give me tips on game design stuff. And I also posted the Last Man Sitting video there. And someone else posted it on the um, Reddit gaming channel. And I, yeah, I didn't knew about it for like, I don't know, almost a day or two. <laughs> you should just get all these responses. You're like, what? <laughs> if someone sent me over a screenshot. I was like, what? 100,000 upvotes? Is that a lot? <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, 
that was the story behind that. Yeah, you even got covered by a PC gamer in Kotaku. Ah, right, yeah. Also, these guys um, wrote me an email asking some questions, and then I realized, okay, that thing maybe got a bit of potential. <laughs> yeah. So you weren't originally planning to make it a full game, and now that you are, what, what's your overall plan for the game now? Um, so at the moment, I'm um, trying to get the demo out as soon as possible, which will cover uh, soccer mode. So it's like um, Rocket League with shotguns and a big office ball. Well, I guess before you finish that that answer, maybe we should go back and for our viewers, maybe explain what Last Man Sitting is. <laughs> okay, yeah. So um, the overall idea is to have yeah this whole chair shoot them mechanic, but have it a, a bit more um, fleshed out than just yeah shooting widely around. So having different game modes like team deathmatch, um, normal deathmatch, last man sitting or standing. And yeah, I also have some more ideas like having a race mode where you do office chair racing and, and yeah, like the soccer mode, which is yeah, Rocket League with shotguns. <laughs> So is this like a kind of like a, I don't know if you've played Gang Beast, but you know we have yeah. to fidget with the controls a lot to get it to work, correct? Yeah, right. And that's kind of what makes it funny. Yeah, Gang Beast is actually my yeah. Is that a big inspiration for? Yeah, the game that actually brought me into yeah real game development. I mean, I made mobile games before, and at some point a friend of mine brought um, Gang Beast to the office, and we played it, and. I realized, damn, it's made by, I don't know, three guys. That's cool. I want to do that too. Yeah. So, and then I started learn, learning how to use uh, Unity and stuff like that. Yeah, but me and my uh, co-host Fletcher had just started playing Gang Beast a couple of days ago. We've been, we've been thinking about buying it for a while and then we're like, eh, let's finally do it. And yeah. It's... I never laughed so hard at the game. And then as soon as I saw Last Man Sitting, I was like, oh, this looks like Gang Beast, but with shotguns. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Can be worse. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a huge inspiration, of course. You're, uh, so you're planning on heading into Steam Early Access, and I know right now you don't have, uh, or maybe you do now, but have uh, multiplayer fully implemented. Is that where you're planning to go with the game as like your full multiplayer experience? Yeah, so I'm currently focusing on getting the um, couch multiplayer done. So like, yeah, actually like the like Gang Beast, um, where you control uh, the game with four controllers, just on a couch, no online multiplayer and stuff like that. And later on, I want to add yeah, online multiplayer. Cool. And uh, what will, <laughs> so how big are these matches going to get? Are they going to keep them pretty constrained or are you just going to let, let it go all out? Uh, you mean in size, the office? Yeah, so I'm guessing like, I think I, think I read it was 16 people right now. Uh, so at the moment it's four. Because um, it's quite um, so for the for the local version you can choose between a split screen, which will be quite difficult with sixteen. <laughs> so it's limited to four at the moment, and you can choose to play on one screen and then the, having a multi-track camera. Uh, maybe that was the maybe that was the bot mode I was looking at that had more players than four. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. But for the online multiplayer, I mean whatever is possible right i mean mm -hmm. I wouldn't limit it to yeah i would say 16 is a good number for shooting around in an office and then i mean you don't have to care so much so if you have online multiplayer about that everybody is fitting on one screen so you can do cooler stuff like um, using elevators and having really big areas like really big offices with several floors and stuff like that you're gonna put elevators in the game, so you're gonna have to actually use the shotgun to blow you back into the elevator to go. Yeah, up. then you have to shoot at the at the at the knob. Oh, knob! How's how it called? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, so are you gonna are you gonna keep it constrained to uh, office environments, then, or are you gonna mo move into like more you know zany environments? I was I was kind of thinking like having to sit in a chair and avoid blowing yourself off the top of a mountain seems like it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually haven't thought about it so much. I mean, at the moment, it's uh, yeah limited to office, mm -hmm. and I think the whole humor thing is it it fits pretty pretty good in that because 
office life is yeah pretty boring mostly yeah right and then just giving everybody a shotgun to move around that's yeah it's a bit like uh snakes on a plane or sharknado action you know super mm -hmm. stupid and over the top but yeah so how, how much bigger has the scope gotten for the game now that you know you're seeing what the response is because i think i think i saw on your twitter you said over but just about over three thousand people had already wishlisted the game I'm not even sure what that number is now. Uh, yeah, it stayed at around 3,500 mm -hmm. now. Um, but yeah, I mean, you think about it, how you how you can um, scale this, or, or how, you, how the first release should look like. I mean, my first idea was just to have, yeah, one level, one mode, and that's it. But I think people expect a bit more. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like having several levels and maybe even having the online multiplayer from the start, but that would also mean that the game will get released later. So it's a yeah, it's a thin line because yeah, of course, money is limited a bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. You ever thought about crowdfunding for the game? Yeah, I thought about that too, but I, I don't know. I just wanna yeah, I haven't thought so much about. All the possibilities also like having publishers or stuff like this at the moment i'm just yeah working on the game every day and just see how far i can come until uh, march where i yeah want to release something if it's a demo or the full game i don't know I, that's really depends on how far i come so how long have you actually been working on last man sitting then um it's from november Okay, that's it. We're out. Yeah, the GIF around November. Mm -hmm. um, so then it had this huge attention thing. <laughs> and then I went on vacation for uh, three and a half weeks without internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect timing. And yeah, then I came back. Um, then was Christmas. Also didn't work that much on the game. But now since January, I'm, I'm trying to um, work at least one hour a day or two on it so you're putting a lot of different modes in the game including the uh the soccer like rocket league mode how's that coming together uh yeah that maybe will turn into a demo mode uh, or a demo version where you only can play this mode because it's the most or the easiest one to to finish and also the i think the funniest to look at because yeah shooting at a ball with shotguns and trying to score a goal and not try to shoot your teammates. I think that's that's something that people can enjoy and also to shorten the wait for the full version a bit. So what have uh, what have been some of your favorite responses of the game so far that you've seen? Um, that's, that looks stupid. Yeah. That's the best response you can get. I mean, I, I really hope nobody is taking this extreme serious and uh, make a big thing out of it, you know, regarding office violence and stuff like that. <laughs> or, or gun violence or whatever i mean sometimes people have weird things in mind well who knows maybe last man sitting will end up being an esports title <laughs> yeah i hope so <laughs> but yeah I, I just like when people laugh at it and they say yeah i really enjoyed looking at the gifs and stuff like that so that's the coolest thing all right well i think that's all i have for you so thank you very much kevin for coming to talk to me about last man sitting uh excited to try out the game it looks fun it looks, looks like a game that uh you should definitely play when you're drunk at some point <laughs> yes <laughs> all right well thank you again and uh see you all next time thanks for tuning in to hub world